Hello and welcome to the CISA course from Simply Learn. My name is Chuck Eastham. I'm going to be your instructor throughout this course. First, a little introduction of me and the CISA exam. I'm the author of 20 computer science books, many on computer security. I currently hold 40 certifications myself and help create some of the other certifications. And I travel all over the world teaching computer security, including CISA. So what is this CISA? The Certified Information Systems Auditor Exam, and it's created by the organization ISACA. Now ISACA used to be an acronym and it stood for something, but they kind of abbreviated it to where it's just called ISACA now. They created the first and the most widely accepted Security Auditor Certification, and that's the CISA. It's been around for many, many years and is revised frequently. This class deals with the most current revision. There are five domains we're going to cover in this course. Now, the CISA exam itself is very challenging. We're going to help you get ready for it, but it's important that you study very, very hard. How valuable is this test? Well, it's extremely valuable. It is the most widely recognized security auditor exam. Don't take my word for that. Go to any job board that you like and type in CISA for your geographical area and find out how many jobs you see that either require or prefer this exam. The entire concept of this certification is to ensure that you're completely ready to perform an effective and efficient security audit on any organization. As one example, there's the Frost and Sullivan report that states there'll be a need for six million more information security professionals by 2019. Now my personal experience enforces that. Every time I have a conversation about computer security, and that doesn't matter where I'm at, anywhere in the world, Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, I hear the exact same thing from both security professionals and managers. We don't have enough qualified people. And security audits may be the hottest area within security because we're now having legal requirements. There are laws that require companies get audits. There are regulatory requirements. If a company processes credit cards, PCI says you have to have audits. There are a lot of reports out there talking about a shortfall of skilled information security professionals. The aforementioned Frost and Sullivan report indicates a shortfall of one and a half million skilled professionals by 2019. NASCOM's task force report projects a shortfall of one million in India alone by 2025. Now how do you get the CISA certification? Well this class is a good start. First you have to have at least some experience, a few years experience in security. They're relatively flexible in what they'll count so if you've been working in network security, auditing, any area like that it will probably count. But next you have to prepare for the exam. This is a challenging exam. It's offered three times a year. You have to go to ISACA's website and register. I suggest you register in advance because these courses fill up. Now when you take the test, it's a written pen and paper test, you'll receive notification of your score a few weeks later. Our course objectives are meant to exactly mirror the certification test. We cover the five domains and each domain is broken into lessons. Each lesson is for a particular knowledge statement that ISACA identified. There are video lessons, and what helps you there is you can pause, rewind, and rewatch the video lecture as many times as you need. Each domain ends with a few brief questions just to test your knowledge. Along the way, I periodically give you tips, things to know for the test. We have a complete test bank at the end, and we have at least one case study for each domain, and most domains have two. Those case studies are very important. Pay particular attention to those. Many candidates for the CISA comment that the case studies were the toughest part for them on the real test. So we make sure you have several of those. Those case studies get evaluated by Simply Learn. So once you've completed the Simply Learn video courses, you'll also have to answer the case study questions and you'll take an online exam. Now Simply Learn does something really interesting they have a minimum score of 80% on their online exam to indicate you've passed their course. Why is that interesting? 
because that's actually higher than the minimum score on the actual CESA administered by ISACA. In other words, we're making sure you're really, really prepared. You're going to get full support from the Simply Learn staff anytime during the course. If you've subscribed for the live virtual classroom training, you can attend ongoing batches, revisit concepts, you can submit queries through the Simply Learn website, there's a help and support on the website, there's even a Simply Talk live chat option if you have questions. So this is the way we built this course to try to help you as much as possible. The prerequisites for this course are simply a basic understanding of computer security and auditing. And again, as I go through the lessons, I'm going to point out the things that require a little more digging than others. That's about it. Let's go ahead and get started in getting you ready for the Certified Information Systems Auditor.